Peace be with you, friends. Just a final reminder to all those who would like to go on a trip, retreat to Midland. I've been advertising over the last few weeks and today is your last chance to sign up. Shortly after my announcements, you'll be able to see one more time the uh, a clip explaining what it's about. A number of students have signed up, but there are still a few spots that could be utilized. So take a look. Uh, anyone in grade 10, 11, 12 is invited. Grade 12, your nines will uh, wait perhaps next year. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Discover a hidden gem in Ontario's past. Sainte Marie among the Hurons, the first European community in Ontario. A testament to the French Jesuit mission, this settlement served as a beacon of faith to the Huron Wendat people in the mid 17th century. Step into a bygone era, a time of cultural exchange and intellectual discourse between Europeans and indigenous peoples. Participate in a full day trip and retreat aptly named the Walk Where They Walked. Immerse yourself in an interdisciplinary experience that enriches your understanding of the First Nations people, the early modern history of Canada, and the roots of the Roman Catholic tradition. Engage in introspection, pondering your personal relationship with Jesus Christ in the context of this historic mission, a testament to the Catholic faith. This site is rich in history, standing as a beacon of the sacrifices made by Saint Jean de Brebeuf and his companions. Dress down for the day, prepare for indoor and outdoor activities and enjoy a pizza lunch on us. Travel in comfort aboard a coach bus, all for a nominal fee of $20 per student. Remember, many may never get this opportunity to witness history so intimately. So come, walk where they walked and experience the echoes of the past. Good morning, STM. My name is Fia and I'm the senior director for our next Halloween for Hunger campaign. Although Halloween seems far away, planning for our annual Halloween for Hunger campaign starts now. We are looking for applicants in grade nine or 10 for a one-year position and grade 11s, or for a two-year position and grade 11s for a one-year position on our exec team. If you are interested, there will be an informational meeting today after school in room 218, the lecture hall. Finally, don't forget to follow our socials for updates which is STM underscore H for H on both Twitter and Instagram. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria. And my name is Shama. And here are your announcements for today. There will be an important meeting immediately after school today for all members of the senior tennis team and all those trying out for the juniors tennis team in room 340. It is vital that everyone attend. Thank you from coaches Mortuzo, Posoni, and Agassi. Members of the STM Ultimate Frisbee team are reminded that there is a mandatory practice today after school on the side field in preparation for the upcoming GHAC games. Students with any questions or those unable to attend should see Mr. Castellani or Ms. Alley. And now for your sports. Yesterday in the final game of the regular season, the junior boys soccer team notched out a 1-0 win against Cathedral. The team rallied at the end in order to secure a win. Diogo Rocha scored an incredible last-minute golazo from an aspired assist by Dino Artunas. On defense, Nick Ifredis played an outstanding defensive game that helped keep CHS scoreless. The team will play their quarterfinal game on Monday, May 27th. This week, the girls' slow-pitch team played in two full-day tournaments for their regular season schedule. On Monday, we played three games. The first was versus our rival St. Mary's. We defeated them 5-0. The second game we played Cathedral and won 10-5, and in our final game for that day was versus Newman, where we won 5-4. Yesterday we played our last three regular season games, and we faced BT and won 10-1. In our second game we played BR and won 10-0, and in our final game was versus SJB, and we won with a score of 5-0. The girls played outstanding throughout all six games. Special mention to our pitchers Emily Dunn and Kiona McCory, Hunter Birch for her double clutch plays, Dakota Bertiz for her solid hitting, Mae Lubinsky, our captain, for her leadership and skill, and Jen DiMedeiros for her solid defense on the outfield. This puts our team in first place overall, which moves us into the semifinal games next Tuesday. Thanks, girls. Thanks, STM. STM, one more announcement. Your prefects are still selling candy uh, outside of student success on all lunches periods two, three, and four. Only cash will be accepted, and all proceeds go to Relay for Life. 
SCM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. And remember, it's, it's a great, great day, day to be a night.